Welcome back to Farrier's Crest. My son and I, Forrest, are gonna show you a couple more things today. What we've got here is a nice little pretty quarter horse. This horse has struggled from uh, navicular disease and uh, we've done several things to help it. The horse stands around at points a lot. The horse just uh, three months ago was laying a lot around in his stall, uh, quite a bit, a little too much. This horse is a Jim Canna pony. And it's a shame, it's real broke, does real good in Jim Cannon, but it's come up sore with this. We, uh, we started by uh, wedging his heels up, and uh, it helped some, but not enough. So uh, we decided to go ahead and egg bar the shoe, uh, or a straight bar, because where the pain is, is directly up into the frog. And so what we've done is we've wedged the foot up three degrees, and then we put a very large bar across the back because as the dirt and debris pushes up into the frog, that's, where the, that's what the horse does not like. So we've just created a barrier is all we've done. And um, to uh, like a bridge across uh, 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 that frog and um, it gives the horse relief. So we can zoom in here and you can see, we're getting ready to shoe the horse. This is the, this is the uh, shoe we put on last time. It's made a huge difference and you can see we, it's a standard shoe, and in this case, we just used an old piece of rasp we welded across there. Today, we're not going to use a rasp, but we're going to use the same dimension here. It's two inches, and uh, we're going to wedge the horse up, just like we did here with the three degree, and uh, uh, we, we may add a few little extra things here today to see if it helps, but uh, anyway, uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. We're going to trim this horse's feet down, and uh, we're going to make up a new set of shoes, and um, hopefully this horse will be more comfortable than he is now. This medial lateral balancing is very, very difficult. And the reason is, is because horses always have distortions in their feet. For instance, this particular horse, he, he's distorted slightly onto the outside, and it's the way he's built. He's probably been left a little bit long on the outside for a while, and nobody knew it, which tends to make the foot migrate out to the outside. So when we're looking at this foot right now, it can be very deceptive if he's balanced or not. On his right foot, he seems like he's a little bit high on the outside. But he's not. And on the left foot, he looks pretty good. In fact, from here, the way he's standing right now, it would appear that he's a little high on the outside. But if we move him around and laser him, and then we do several other techniques to balance by looking down the foot, looking also at the foot from this direction. We've done everything we can to get him straight. The laser tells us more than anything. And quite often, we don't need the laser. We, are, we have them good and level. And we, and we know we're good and level. And this really works good on the back feet because back feet are quite often way high on the inside, way out of balance medial-laterally. So here we are back. And one of the problems we've had with this horse is medial-lateral balance. So that's the balance, that's the leveling of the horse being high or low on the inside or the outside. So what we're gonna do is, uh, this horse is hard, it's hard to balance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this, uh, lay down this laser on this horse. And that vertical line is going, if he stands still, you'll see, if you can see the vertical line, the vertical line, let that level itself, is going straight up his foot, pretty close to his cannon bone. He, he is a tad, let's see here, he's pretty darn, it's pretty straight. So this horse is medial lateral balance on this foot. If we go to this side, and we do the same thing, we'll see that he's pretty, he's a little bit high on the outside of the foot. He's leaning in. So when we trim him here, we're gonna trim him, we're, uh, we're gonna lower a little bit on the outside, probably just a couple degrees, and we're gonna get this, uh, this cannon bone lined back up the center of his foot. As you can see, it's off to the side. It should be here. If you notice on the other one, it was dead in the center. This foot is medial lateral balance. This foot is slightly high on the outside, probably a couple degrees. And this is important because we need to get all the joints lined up. We don't want a joint uh, a flexing this way but leaning at the same time. That's what creates ring bone, side bone, arthritis, all that business. So we're going to get that straightened out uh, while we're here today. So uh, we talked about medial lateral balancing. We put the laser on this horse. This is a technique you won't see done really very often or maybe never. I use it all the time. Anyway, if we come back to the horse here, we'll see if we can get this laser in here where you can see it. It's kind of bright out today, but here's the laser. We're not going to particularly worry about the center of the foot. 
What we're concerned about is this laser going straight up that foot and straight up that leg. As you can see, it's far better than it was last time. And, you know, he shifts his weight around and, and gets a little cockeyed on us, and sometimes it can be a little difficult. But there we are. We're in pretty darn good shape now. And uh, we got him about as medialaterally <laughs> balanced as we're going to get him for now. Anyway, there we go. What we got going on here is we weld this. We did not weld it in the forge. We welded it with a MIG welder. We can make it more precise that way. And uh, now we're going to roll the toe. This horse needs an easy rollover. We're going to come back to the second nail hole back. And we're going to give it a little, a little bend there. And look down there. That, and that's pretty... You see there now, you can see the roll that I put in it. Now we'll clean this shoe all up. We got a lot of spatters on it and whatnot. We'll clean this shoe all up in, uh, in our uh, sanding tool. And this thing will be really pretty. We're gonna put a three degree wedge on this. This horse needs to really break over easy. And he needs, he needs to be propped up so his top, or so, I'm sorry, so his uh, navicular, dose, the navicular bone doesn't hurt him. So you can see what we've done here. We put a put a roll on the toe for the first nail hole back. It's gonna make it easier for this horse to roll off the toe. The uh, navicular horses have a hard time getting off the end, end of their toe. That's the breakover area. So we moved the breakover back to the first nail hole, which is about approximately my finger. Now we put this bar across here. As, as this horse walks and things hit it, hit hit the, actually this direction, hit up. It pushes on that on that uh, a frog, and the frog is sore deep up inside, you might say. It's actually the navicular bone. And it protects it, and that's what we're doing here. Now, we also put a roll on the sides. A navicular horse also has a hard time when he turns. When, you'll know, you'll, you'll see it mostly when he walks. When you turn him, kind of break him in half or do a U-turn, you'll see him really gimpy. And that's because he's having a hard time breaking over the side of his foot. This right here will help him roll, if you can see it. We ground the, this outer rim off and help him roll off of his foot. So now when he's walking, he can roll off his toe, and when he turns, he can pivot off the side of his foot either direction and gives him some relief in that navicular area. We would do similar things to a horse with uh, ring bone or side bone. So here we are in our horse show rig. Horse is cutting out the pad using number three wedge pad for this job. We tried number twos on the horse uh, about six months ago. Didn't seem to have near the effect that the number threes did. So we added we had one more degree, rolled the toe a little bit more. We had a lot better uh, results that way. So we used a bandsaw to cut these pads. Uh, in our business, we want to get rid of as much labor as we can because we we end up going home pretty darn tired but there's a good view of it after he bands on it and now he'll put it on the sanding machine and dial it right in because this shoe we bent the shoe up uh the toe up like that we now need to shape the uh foot to match it a little bit of a challenge uh but get in here i normally actually do it before i put the pad on there and i don't know this time i got ahead of myself a little bit either way i'll get it and so I'm, I know approximately where to go because I got my old nail holes here and uh, that kind of tells me how far back to go. And I know from experience that if I cut a little bit of that out of there, I'll have a better luck and uh, the wrong shoe. You see how that shoe turned out? Turned out real nice. And uh, there we are. I'm gonna go ahead and nail this with uh, two slim blades number fives. I really like slim blades. I think they I think they sound just as good as uh, wider wider shank nails. Uh, they drive nice, uh, and they don't interfere too much in your horse's foot. And I, I like that about them. Uh, I'm gonna get it started here. And if you've been around horses a long time, you, you might notice that I'm a pretty old school driver. 
the way I go about doing it. And uh, I'm going to leave that right there. And my son Force is going to finish that out. And that's because I've been doing this for 44 years. And I like to get out from underneath them just as fast as I can. So we'll get some video of Forrest nailing on these shoes. He's become a pretty darn good nailer. And uh, I'll get this other shoe on. I'm going to tack on this other foot, this other shoe, and, uh, and fit it and make it real nice. Forrest is going to finish it out. And then uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have this horse done. And we'll talk about that at the end. So here we are, we got all four shoes going on here. We got the back feet done. Uh, we kind of moved the shoes back a little bit on the back feet. Uh, this horse tends to get a little elongated in the back feet. We have that good and straightened out. Elongation of a foot is a problem. And uh, we're, always, uh, we're always working that on that to, uh, if their foot gets too elongated, the, uh, the ground, the leverage from the ground draws the foot out. And as, as the toe gets drawn out, uh, the heel dr gets drawn out with it. And before you know it, you don't have uh, enough foot underneath your horse. And then they're out of center of rotation. Well, Force is finishing up this last part right here, driving these nails in. Uh, we have the other front foot done, three degree wedge pad, rolled toe, and we uh, rolled the uh, sides of the foot, medial lateral up, make the horse way more comfortable and uh, this job turned out real nice so this horse's name is cookie. this is cookie this is cookie's owner and uh, she does Jim can on this pony and uh, how well are you doing on this horse uh, we do really good we're double A triple A well there we go so we have a, a navicular horse that's doing double and triple A times and uh, just about six months ago, you wouldn't believe that this horse could uh, was pretty darn crippled. And uh, he's coming around really good from this, these shoeings that we're doing. <laughs>